I, I suppose I'd say two things. The first is that uh, I'm sorry that people have had the disruption that they have had. I obviously would prefer that this was not the case, but the, the, the weather is the weather, I'm afraid. The second thing is but that we've got to... you can't just say the weather is the weather. It's, no, we've no, always no, had well, great storms. Uh, the weather might be getting slightly worse, but there must be some sort of resilience we could build into the systems for it. Well, well that's, that's the second point I was going to come on to, which is that we have to explore... And the power companies particularly have to do this uh, as to how they can build more resilience into the network. Now, some of that may be at the elementary end of the spectrum of undertaking a proactive tree cutting to make sure that power lines are protected as far as possible from the falling of trees. Uh, during Storm Arwen, I saw incidents where um, there was a tremendous congestion of trees around about power lines that were obviously had caused significant damage. So that routine proactive precautionary work needs to be undertaken. And at the other end of the spectrum, we have to be constantly looking at what should be the resilience of the network. Should we have um, uh, as many power lines that are uh, overhead power lines should we look to be undergrounding power lines obviously there will be a financial impact of that on the um, the uh, investment that's got to be made in the network but these are all issues that need to be looked at given the increased severity of wind and, and incidents of this type. Is that work already underway or has that yet to start in terms of even looking at how, how to you know cable people in um, underground or, or, or differently? Well, these are, these are issues that the power companies uh, look at uh, and they obviously take operational decisions on these questions. They certainly do the, the work that I'm talking about in relation to the, the routine precautionary work to ensure lines are protected from uh, from trees. Uh, but obviously there is a dialogue that the power companies have to have with Ofgem about the financing that's available to invest in undergrounding arrangements and all of that is part of the regulatory environment which of course is a reserved issue and uh, in the aftermath of Storm Arwen, the United Kingdom government and Ofgem embarked on those discussions with the power companies and obviously we will remain very closely connected to those conversations.